uh, there, there'd been an expectation no that you would retain your seat and pick up one or two more. How is the party? How are you feeling at the moment on, on these early numbers that we've got? Look, as you say, they're early numbers, but I'm, I'm really excited uh, and I'm really proud of, you know, what we've, what we've achieved so far. Um, you know, the, the election campaign that we've run here was run off grassroots campaign power. You know, we've literally tripled our campaign capacity. We've been on the doors talking to thousands of people each and every week. And people like what they're hearing from the Greens. I think, honestly, this, this campaign for us is really about ordinary people versus mining billionaires and vested interests. And, and the people we're talking to, they're making their voices heard in the results we're seeing. They like what they're hearing from the Greens. And it's a really, really exciting time for us as a party. Michael, it's Alan Jones here. Uh, could you amplify that point as to what they're hearing from the Greens? Do you tell them that you're in favour, like Amy McMahon is, of Extinction Rebellion and lying down in the streets and dislocating traffic and all the rest of it? What do you, what do you tell them that makes them vote for you? Alan, we talk to everyday people about the things that they need, what, they what they're concerned with in politics. And, you know, what people tell us over and over again is that the way politics has been captured by vested interests, by, you know, by those massive multinational mining corporations, by the big developers and by the big banks, and the way that they twist politics to their own ends. People, people have had enough of that. They are genuinely sick of politics that doesn't work in and their interests. You, and how and are what you we're talking how are you, about is... How are you stopping that? How are you stopping that? I mean, most of the people who you're talking about live in your electorate, in Fig Tree Pocket, St Lucia, Tawang. In Rapilli, the rich part of, of Brisbane. Alan, we're talking to people across the entire state, and you know, honestly, people have the same needs. It doesn't matter whether you're in, you know, whether you're in Fig Tree Pocket or Far North Queensland. The basics of life are the same, and what people want to see is fully funded health and fully funded education. We've taken some really important initiatives, like free hospital parking, that would allow people to actually access that health care. You know, proposing that kids should be able to get a breakfast and lunch for free at school if they're, you know, because child poverty in Queensland is the worst in the country. Our kids can't be expected to make the most of their educational opportunities and to have a, you know, a good meaning for life if they can't eat and they can't engage with their education. These are the but things Michael, that people are you are you, want to Michael, see governments are you, provide. Michael, are you seriously suggesting that if you win tonight, as it appears you will, and Anastasia Palaszczuk wins tonight, that she's going to concede any of those benefits to you? that you knock on her door, she's going to come in, Michael, what would you like me to do for you now? Look, Alan, we've been absolutely clear throughout this campaign that all of the initiatives we've announced would be on the table in any kind of negotiations to form minority government with Labor. Now, we, you know, know we might not government. get everything we've asked for, but we will, we will absolutely fight for the things that Queenslanders need for a good life. And, we, you know, we'll go into any reasonable negotiations with Labor in order to see that people get the things they need. There's, you know, everything's on the table and we want to see, you know, everyday Queenslanders getting what they want.